Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of Sacrum Versus. My name is Professor Sacrum and today I have another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle for you. And today's battle takes place in the OU tier and is against my friend Kwame. You've seen him on here once or twice before. And uh, as you can see, I've got a brand spanking new team running and he's got some pretty new Pokemon as well. Um, as you can see, I've got the Terrakion, the Latios, the Ferrothorn, the Magnezone, Porygon 2, and Mega Altaria. Obviously, why else would I bring Altaria to OU? As well as my opponent having uh, Rotom Wash, Metagross, Altaria, which is also his Mega, being the only one aside from the Metagross. And the Azumarill, as well as the Slacking and the Volcarona. So without further ado, let's get this battle started with uh, our two leads. Um, I decided to lead off with uh, my Ferrothorn, I believe, anyway. I uh, didn't take a good look. Uh, no, I sent off my Terrakion first, uh, just because so, I thought it was a really good lead, um, as uh, he decides to lead off with his Rotom. Um, now, my Terrakion was Life Orb, um, which isn't, I don't think, the conventional set for Terrakion, but I decided to run it because I didn't want to have another choice Pokemon. Um, as I decided to go for the close combat to get as much damage off on this Rotom as possible, which is going to really help me out because I do land a ton of damage as he does go for the Will-O-Wisp and gets a burn on me. Kwame does decide to withdraw here his Rotom and go straight into his Metagross, who is going to be eating up another close combat, especially when Terrakion's burned. So seeing that close combat's coming through, it does maybe 10% at most, or 20%, I should say. That's like a clean like 5-hit KO, or 4-hit maybe possibly I'm not sure uh, I am taking some life orb damage though from that as well as my uh, my burn damage and the rocky helmet damage too which was the first sign that he was not mega metagross which was awesome because I didn't want that so I took this opportunity to go for my stealth rocks thinking that he would try to knock me out with like bullet punch or something as uh, he actually also decides to go for stealth rocks and I'm afflicted with burn again and he now uh, this time goes for bullet punch Sorry about that, I had to swallow for a second. And uh, he is able to KO my Terrakion, which is fine. I didn't really need him too much, I just kind of wanted to set up my rocks initially, but because the Rotom was out, I figured I might as well get as much damage as I possibly could. And here's where I made my first misplay, I go for Hidden Power, but it wasn't Hidden Power Fire. I thought I uh, had this Magnezone with Mag uh, Hidden Power Fire, so Mr. Fusion is not able to, uh, to really make it good in this battle. So he goes down. I have now since fixed that problem, so don't even worry about that. So if you ever see uh, Mr. Fusion again, he will have Hidden Power Fire. As this time, I do decide to go into my Altaria, as it is my strongest Pokemon, and the only other Pokemon that could probably take out this Metagross um, now. Because after I Mega Evolve, I'm going to get nothing right now, because my stats don't go up. But he does go for the Bullet Punch. He is going to do a chunk of damage, a really good chunk of damage. I was lucky he didn't crit, because that would have been a problem. And I do decide to go for Fire Blast because I am running special Mega Altaria in this uh, particular battle. Um, I just only have my special Mega Altaria right now. I kind of want to make a physical one. But I'm not much of a big fan on D-Dancing. But he does decide to go into one shot. The uh, Choice Banded Slacking. And the only reason why I know it's Choice Banded Slacking is because I've actually battled this one a few times before because he loves using the Slacking. Um, which is which is fine. It's good. It's actually really good. If they had ever got a Mega and lost Truant, it would be great. See, look how much damage that did to an impish Ferrothorn. That did a lot. That was almost half health. But luckily, he's able to take some of the Iron Barbs damage, Iron Barbs damage, and uh, get some his own health lost. And I am ha I do have my leftovers. So seeing that he's in Truant, he doesn't probably want to grab a Leech Seed for free. As uh, Rotom is coming in, taking some Stealth Rock damage, and I do land the Leech Seed on it because. Why not? Ferrothorn lands leech seeds, it gyro balls or power whips, and it protects. That's what it does. Um, as well as occasionally set up rocks. But uh, I do decide to go for the leech seed here. I land it, ended, ended up landing it onto the Rotom Wash as uh, it is able to do enough to knock out the Rotom, which is actually really good on my part because I'm able to get free recovery very easily. As he does decide to go into his Volcarona and take some stealth rock damage, which is awesome because that is a bulky Pokemon I don't want to deal with and seeing that I don't want to stay in on this I decided to switch into not too slow the uh, the Latios which I actually had from my Omega Ruby playthrough I took a look at its nature very recently and uh, saw that it had actually good nature and I checked its IVs and it was pretty good so I decided to train it up throw it on the team as uh, here I decided to go for trick to give him my choice scarf thinking that he was uh, gonna be stuck into quiver dance um, 
so that way he would just keep going for quiver dances and I'd be able to knock him out with Draco the next turn. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, so he is able to land the Bug Buzz onto my Latios, which is kind of bad. But now he's stuck in a Bug Buzz, so I know that he can't quiver dance up again, which is awesome. As I do decide to go into my Porygon 2, who I love. I love Porygon 2 so much. I didn't think I would, but it's it's a really good Pokemon. As uh, he does to go for the Bug Buzz again, because he has no other choice. Uh, and he does outspeed me, because he's Choice Scarf now, and he has a Quiver Dance up, which is fine. I go for Toxic right here, land it, luckily, onto this Volcarona, because I don't think I could have had another opportunity to. As uh, I am just going to try and Toxic Stall this thing, because I really have no other way of beating it at this moment. Um, it's too risky to send out any of my other Pokemon, and this is my Wallyest Pokemon, as I do have Recover on my Porygon 2 to bring myself up back to almost full HP, which is really, really nice. Um, as this turn, he does go for the Bug Buzz again, because he's kind of just, like, getting rid of his Volcarona at this point. I don't know why I was a loss for words, but I am going for Recover again, because there's no nothing else I can really do, um, aside just from getting my HP back, which I probably should have done again. And this following turn, because I think Toxic would have done enough to knock it out, but just because I was a little afraid that it wasn't, I didn't actually go for Recover this turn. I did decide, however, to go for the Thunderbolt, just to bring it down to enough HP so that the Toxic would knock it out. I knew I wasn't going to be able to knock it out, because I only have Ice Beam and Thunderbolt on this Porygon 2, which is which is good. That's normally what Porygon 2 run, I believe. Um, and I have Recover and Toxic. That's all I really need uh, for my wall breaking, or my stalling. Part. As he does go into one shot again, and he's going to try to get the retaliate off on my Porygon too, and I'm not going to have that, so I decide to switch back into Ferrothorn, who I know is going to be eating up these, uh, these, uh, retaliates like, like they're sandwiches. They're, ooh, yummy sandwiches. Um, but see, is he, he's not going to even do enough to knock me out. He's got a, he did a good chunk of damage where another one probably could knock me out, but because I have my leftover still, and I landed the Leech Seed, uh, oh, I haven't actually gone for Leech Seed yet. I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself right there. He does decide to switch out because he doesn't want to get the Leech Seed taken on me. As I do decide to go for the Leech Seed again because, again, I had a no better choice. I could have gone for Gyro Ball, but what good would that have been? I could I, I, I could just get more HP this way. As I do land it on the Azumarill that's coming in and get a bunch of HP back because of Leftovers and because of the Leech Seed, which is awesome. Always a good combination to have. That's why a lot of Chestnut run it and Yu Yu. Um, and as I go for protect here, and he goes for the knockoff, and showing me that he's not your, uh, average life orb or choice banded set of Azumarill, he was probably an assault vest variant, um, which is very different, I actually haven't run, come across this already, uh, it's a, it's probably more common, uh, the more you battle, but I haven't actually seen it, as I do go for protect, and it wasn't, he didn't do anything to me, I, he, I just got some free HP back, as he does go for knockoff this turn to knock off my leftovers, reduce my amount, the amount of recovery I'm going to be doing, as I do decide to go for the gyro ball right here, because I want to get some damage off, I thought I'd be able to, mm, excuse me, I thought I would be able to knock it out, but apparently Ferrothorn isn't slow enough, or Azumarill is not slow, fast enough, uh, one of those things, but I am able to go for the stalling here, and Ferrothorn is now able, I think at this turn, I think it's this turn, yeah, Blue, uh, Blue Mouth 5, the Azumarill, does uh, go down to the Leech Seed, which is great. I like it a lot, and Ferrothorn's just putting in a lot of work right here. Um, now this was, Siab was his uh, Mega Altaria, obviously, it's coming back in, as he does go for the Mega Evolution right here, and he gets that beautiful, poof, Mega Altaria. Um, now I wasn't sure what kind of set this was. So, um, he does decide to go for Dragon Dance. I thought he might have, may have been special, because the last time I faced him using Mega Altaria, it was special. Um, I guess he bred a new one and made it physical, which is cool, because I haven't seen one in, uh, in use, or I hadn't seen one in use at the time of this battle. As I do decide to go for the Leech Seed, because um, I just want to try and get as much recovery as possible. As he does go for the D-Dance again, that putting him at plus two. And me realizing that he's doing that and plus he's weak to uh, he's weak to steal. I go for the Gyro Ball right here, which is able to Oko the Mega Altaria. Even though it's actually got a really good natural bulk. However, the D-Dances did go to his demise, inevitable demise. Um, as he does go into one shot right here. And Kwame finally learns not to go for Retaliate on Ferrothorn and decide to go for Earthquake 
instead, which is going to do a good chunk. It actually did, did just about as much as Retaliate would, um, which was fine. As I do decide to go for Protect here, forgetting that ch uh, not Chestnut, ugh, I have Chestnut on the mind, um, forgetting that Slack King has Truant, so in the next turn, he's able to knock me out with Earthquake, as I could have probably landed the Leech Seed and actually finished this game with Ferrothorn. Um, I just decided to go back into Mega Altaria right here, uh, now remembering that he is in Truant and that he can't attack me. Um, my safer play would have probably been to go for Roost and then Hyper Voice, but I decided to go straight for the Hyper Voice because there was no way in heck that this one shot was going to be able to live a pixelate boosted um, Mega Altaria's Hyper Voice. So that was a good game, Kwame. Uh, if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the other stuff. Leave your friend codes in the comment section below so that way I can challenge you to a battle, pick up your code. Uh, as you can see, my friend code is always on the screen. Um, it's actually a little bit different now because I just got a 3DS capture card. If you haven't been able to tell already, the quality is much better. Um, and uh, yeah, also, um, kind of just like a little bit of help. I'm building a UU team right now, and I'm missing one Pokemon. I'm missing Defog and Polion. If anyone has uh, Defog and Polion, and or like has a Defogging Piplup or something. Please, could you be sure to spare it? Or, like, could would someone be able to spare one? Uh, I, I kind of, like, I'm playing through Platinum again. I'm going through my Platinum version again just to try and get it. But I'm really not that far in. So, uh, if you guys really could spare one, that'd be great. And I definitely am going to be sure to use it. Um, but, without further ado, I guess I'm kind of stalling here. But I just want to let you guys know, uh, Wednesday, there's going to be a U versus Up. Uh, it's already set and done so it's already gonna be ready for wednesday and uh friday pokeology is back that's right so stick around for that uh, i've uh, worked really hard on it and it's a really good really good um episode from what i've seen so far from what i've watched I i'm still working on it right now but it will be ready for friday and on saturday i will be live streaming at twitch.tv fo uh, forward slash professor saccharum i'll leave that link in the description so that you can follow my Twitch and get notified when I start my live stream. I'll be taking Wi-Fi battles and stuff, so that's probably where the next Sakura Versus will come from if you guys hit me up with uh, with battles there and stay tuned. I'll probably be starting around 9 o'clock at that time, um, maybe a little bit later, um, maybe somewhere around 10 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so. Again, I'm, I'm starting to ramble. I always end up doing this. I apologize again. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.